I'm allowed to be funny this morning. I don't think it's going to be a very funny episode. It's going to be informative. It's going to be an informative episode because a lot of what happened this weekend was insane. I don't feel you're very funny either. Maybe funny looking. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Apex Morning Shift, your number one Apex Morning Show on the planet. My eyes are a little watery because I literally just woke up. It is 8 in the morning. Well, you say it's the number one morning show. Is there another Apex Morning Show? Uh, let's get this episode underway. On Saturday, there was Group A versus C, and on Sunday, there was Group B versus C. The last two days of the regular season of Pro League. Next weekend is regional finals. Oh my god. This weekend was quite intense because, um, as you guys know, the top 12 teams at the end of regional finals make LAN. The bottom eight teams get relegated to Pro League qualifiers. They were playing with desperation. On Saturday, as we look at the standings here, Furia dominated with first place, running a different composition than everybody else, dude. Composition. Keon shared that Madness wanted to run Caustic Bang Blood just like everybody else, but his Watson had a very good point of view on that. He said that Caustic is only good when not every other team is running Caustic. Because when you're fighting another Caustic team, your gas is only affecting two of the three players. So what they did is they swapped the Caustic for Watson. Keon hopped on Valk and Madness on Bloodhound. And it seemed to have worked for them. His Watson, most valuable player, 13 kills. Didn't they do the same thing on Sunday and do piss poor? We'll get to that. They did pretty piss poor. His Watson hit an amazing clutch in game five to win the game. Let's run the clip. Fight back here. Just hide, hide, hide. Shield. Play Mox. Walk forward, walk forward. It's a 1v1. It's a 1v1. It's 1. 2v1, 2v1. They're trying to kill us. Nice to shoot. It's a 1v1, 1v1. You win this. You fucking win this. He's going to get on his walk. Yes! Oh, you're the best, Watson! And the clip just played. React. Oh my god. <laughs> what? DSG, second, does well. It's Timmy, 19 kills, bro. Very, very nice. Moist, third place. Another very consistent day for Moist. Love to see it. Xset brings it back with fifth place, slowly climbing up. Landbound? We had a tough start with Koifu to the season. He's a very talented player, and I'm glad to see that there are. On the come up, over sleepers and nine lies in the top 10. Not bad. Two teams that have been rather struggling. TSM finishing 12th place, still struggling. If you guys watched last episode, I was talking about how Hal's having a hard time adapting to Bloodhound since he's used to Horizon. Horizon. With regionals next weekend, should TSM try to continue adapting? The Hal and Bloodhound, or should they bring back Horizon? The reason why they don't run Horizon is because, or why anybody basically runs Horizon, is because her perks are very underwhelming. Now, speaking of adapting to the new meta, the Mexican boys, Team Legacy, bro, with Yanya known as one of the best Horizons in the game, struggle at first with the new meta. If you look at Legacy and TSM, they're very, very similar. Yanya was a very big Horizon crutch, very good on Horizon. So was Hal. Both team compositions were very, very similar before Season 20. Boom! When Season 20 launched, both teams started to struggle. However, Team Legacy seems to have figured it out after this weekend. We look at here, the Sunday standings. They went bonkers. Yanya with 25 kills. Absolutely unheard of in Apex. Oh yeah, 25 kills. We haven't seen that all season, dude. Holy shit. Putting his team in first place on the day, shooting them right up to seventh place overall. Yanya is this weekend's MVP. And if you're still not convinced that he's MVP, maybe this clip will convince you. The clip just went through. You gotta tell me. Hey! If there was a banana here, I would throw that at your head. So yes, I think that Hal could learn a thing or two from Yanya. See how he's adapted to the new meta. Yanya's playing Bangalore. I think Hal should give Bangalore another try. Um, see how that goes. Put Evan on Bloodhound. Why does he just hop on Valk? Because Verhulst is a far better Valk than Hal. Way better Valk. Without this coming out badly, he's kind of like a, a movement, like, crutch. crutch like, he now. needs to play a legend that moves. 
that allows him to have mobility. Well, yeah, that's his playstyle. And he's playing the one legend on the team that doesn't allow him to do that. I think Hal should hop on Bang. I mean, on Bloodhound and Reps on Caustic. I think that would be pretty good. But I guess we'll see. Dark Zero in second place. I think DZ's cursed, bro. The last three days, DZ's finished second place. Moist third place again. DSG with a big fourth place. Big weekend for them. Which is a big difference from the past weekends where they've been struggling a lot. On the edge of not making land even. Uh, it was a bit, uh... Yikes. But what changed everything is the big decision to put design on Wraith on World's Edge. Which at first it was like, Wraith? Huh? We haven't seen Wraith do well in competitive in like four years. Well, let me just say it's working, bro. What a good Wraith. Oh my god. Having control. He has control over the rotations and over the pacing of everything. He's able to work magic and it's beautiful to see. We love to see teams with different comps make it happen. Maybe other teams are going to give Wraith a try. X at 7th. Optic 8th, which is, I mean, pretty good. Furia finishing 10th. I thought they did worse. They didn't do piss poor. You lied. Yeah, I don't know. I thought they did piss poor. As you know, this weekend marked the end of the regular season for ALGS Pro League. Split one. And ladies and gentlemen, these are your top 20 teams that have qualified for regional finals next weekend. Yeehaw! Yeah! At the end of the regional finals on Sunday, the top 12 teams overall accumulated throughout the season, including regional finals, will get their tickets to compete on the big stage at LAN. That LAN is going to be, be in... I can't let you guys know where it is. Just put it in, bleep it out. I'm gonna bleep it out, yeah. Your top 20 teams that will be competing in the regional finals. Dark Zero, Moist. Notice how the top two teams are teams that were originally from Australia that came to North America. Furia, DSG, LG, Complexity, Legacy, Elevate, TSM, SSG, Oxygen, GKS, Xset, Dig, Optic, EEC, Sentinels, Native Gaming, Ape Gang, and Nine Lives. Now, unfortunately, these bottom 10 teams will not be competing in the regional finals. And even more unfortunately, these bottom eight teams will be relegated to Pro League qualifiers. And they will compete against the top 22 teams of Challenger Circuit for another chance at Pro League next split. I mean, seeing FaZe down there is kind of it's kind of yikes. I don't think they're going to stay in Apex, dude. I think FaZe is... A goodbye. Now, in terms of roster swaps, the only one that's happened this weekend or before this weekend was Alb's first weekend away from comp. It was replaced by Presley, Hambino's previous teammate. So it was Hambino, Presley, and Scurry, and they still finished last place on Saturday. Yikes, tough Saturday for them. But other than that, not much. No swaps. I mean, it makes sense. It's the end of the season. So, however, we do still have a little bit of drama in the competitive scene. For those of you who didn't know, before this Pro League split, Meat Lovers would land on TSM in scrims at Siphon and gave them a hard time were very annoying, teabagged, shot boxes, got on Hal's nerves, Hal even threw his controller at the wall. And so Hal tweeted this out after finding out that Meat Lovers were being relegated. Rip Bozos with a picture of Meat Lovers 23rd. And then on the Europe side, on Sunday, Alliance pushed Team Portugal in a building and made them look like gold players, which had Kashera reacting like this. Two, one. Some people say Kashera overreacted. I say that's passion, baby. He was howling. Yeah, he was pretty pissed. It was pretty bad. Uh, ripped his chair. Next Sunday is the ALGS Regional Finals Woo! at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're gonna be watch partying. Yeah, I'm Time gonna to be. Tune in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, tune into my Twitch. I'm gonna be watching the Regional Finals at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I already said that time. <laughs> On next week's episode, we're going to be talking about the 12 teams that qualified for LAN. Maybe it's going to be announced where LAN's going to be. Should be. It should be. It should be. So that concludes this weekend's episode of the Apex Morning Shift, your number one Apex Morning Show on the planet. Wow, I said it so fast. Woo! I will see you guys next Tuesday. Everybody, take care. Have a wonderful week. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Cut the camera. I'm, I'm done. Whether you cut the camera <laughs> off or not, I'm off. I'm, I'm gone. <laughs> Goodbye. That's it. Over. Game over.